welcome to the Kalakriti interview series. I am Alexandra Susan and here with me is Selina Andrews, the members of Gindi Times, the official campus magazine of CEG, AC Tech and SAP campuses. In this splendid evening, we are joined by bodybuilder Ajit Raja. We are happy to have you here, sir. Thank you. So, you were initially in dentistry. So, what was your main reason to shift from dentistry to fitness? Um, I like the, the science of bodybuilding. So, I like to know about, much about science in the body. And then I started lifting gym. When I found interest in this, slowly it became like an addiction to me. So, and then I switched to bodybuilding. That's very natural. So, what's your daily routine uh, to keep up your body fit and healthy? I do cardio and then weight training for two hours and cardio for like one to two hours. So, it's like four hours of my day, every day's routine for three, four years now. That's a great thing. So, you've won many eminent titles like Mr. Tamil Nadu and uh, you're even in Sheru Classic, right? What did all of that feel like? Of course, um, winning a biggest title in, in Asia and uh, winning two championships in a single day is the biggest title and I was the first to do it also. So that, that was something big to, like, that was like a dream for me, a dream come true moment. And uh, what I'm aiming for the bigger one, to represent India at the international stage, Olympia stage. So I'm chasing towards my goal. So are you a cardio person or a strength person? Uh, you have to do both for bodybuilding. You gotta do both to so what do you, prefer? you have to do both. So, weight training and cardio will help you to achieve your results. And it depends on your. Uh, for another person, if you're asking about uh, another person, it depends on their lifestyle, cardio or weightlifting, and their goal. Yeah, equal preference. But I love weight training. If you ask me in particular, I love to train than do, doing a cardio, which is. You just have to walk in a treadmill. Okay, that's true. So, you must be on a strict diet with your fitness regime. Is there any food that you miss eating that you couldn't, that you could eat before but not now? Of course, I was uh, crave. I used to crave a lot of uh, spicy foods. Back then, I used to eat a lot of spicy. I, I lived with, uh, lived on a spicy diet. But right now, I can't even digest a uh, little bit of masala. So, because I've been dieting for so long. Now, I, yeah. And biryani is like worse. <laughs> yeah. It's not about eating that. Uh, after that, the consequences of that is too much. We'll have to like three days of uh, stomach upset and like a problem. So I, I fear that and then I don't even like crave it right now. I'm happy with my diet. I'm happy and consistent with my diet and the progress now. That's how you become a winner. So. It needs that. It demands that whoever uh, uh, wants to win has to sacrifice something or other to be able to win at that level. That's very inspiring. Thank you. You said you wanted to re represent India for uh, Mr. Olympia. Yeah. Uh, how do you plan to uh, no, train for that? Uh, for us, there are levels to be able to go there. For that, you have to win a pro card first and then win a pro league with all the pro, pro card winners and then only you'll be able to go to the Olympia. For now I've cleared the pro card, I've won the pro card, I have to compete at the pro league now which is happening in uh, in like one, two months and then whoever wins that will go to the Olympia. So this is the level and right now I'm training for the pro league show to compete with all the best of the best. Hopefully I'll be able to make it this year. That's good. We wish you good luck in all of that. Hopefully you do end up going and achieving your dreams. Is there any advice you have for anyone who's coming into the fitness world newly? Yeah, it's about a uh, lifestyle thing. It's not about like you having a goal or a transformation plan for like one month or two months and you get into this. Once you achieve those results and then you go back to your normal life or like, the way you were before. That's not what fitness is. It's about changing your lifestyle for a good, a good cause and then carrying this throughout your life. It's like a journey. You have to love it and then you have to do it. Then you won't find this as like a, a process where you want to fall in love with this. Go to a gym and like lift weight and then like eat right. So you're doing it for the nutrition. You're, you're taking care of your body. Not doing it because I used to see a lot of people who eat food, like diet. They go crazy about eating this. I did that, I did this. 
so that will not help you to go to the next level or be- get better so mindset you have to change your mental strength or mindset plays a big role in this and then get into your body and then tone your body or get into your transformation series after that that will help you with your journey so initially i had no interest in fitness but hearing you talk about it i have to say it's very inspiration i might get into fitness myself of course it's for everybody we, are, we are built to, to move not to stay we are built to move and lift and like walk around maybe i'll join energy. the gym soon i don't know but i'm happy i'm really happy i'm inspiring a lot of young really guys like you inspiration truly inspiration young guys like you it's a pleasure for me so that that wraps up our interview on behalf of the gilly times we thank you so much and we really appreciate you spending your valuable time with us here today thank you thank you the pleasure is mine to like i said like to inspire most of you guys i receive a lot of comp- uh, compliments about that and i am very happy thank you so much We're for your interview thank you so thank you thank you